Hi everyone and welcome to the Spencer Lodge podcast in partnership with the awesome Najahi events. People like Tony Robbins get to come on our show because the awesome Najahi and Orpha Mustafa have decided to put their name behind this podcast. So first of all, thanks very much for them. Look out for the events that they're holding. There's various people that are coming here in the motivational space. They're launching a digital, digital product very soon as well. Check out Najahi events. You'll find it on Instagram. Today on the podcast, I'm joined by my old friend, a guy that's done some episodes with me before, and you probably would have seen some video content that we've produced together before. Uh, the very funny Lewis Allsop, who's the CEO of Allsop. And all, are you the CEO? I am the CEO. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he's here with us today. I don't know, they're fancy titles some people have. And he's here <laughs> today um, uh, uh, really as a first, because there's a new piece of technology that Allsop and Allsop are, uh, are launching. Uh, and that technology is going to make a massive difference to people buying and selling real estate here in the UAE and even further afield. And I've been very lucky on this episode to be able to understand how that tech works and get it to you so that you can learn about it. So without further ado, okay, he's on camera. You can see him right now. Let's get started. Cue the music for the Spencer Lodge podcast. So welcome to season two of the Spencer Lodge podcast. You've uh, created some content with me before, but anyway, nice, nice to have you on the show again, Lou. That was a great, great show. I think that's the best show with them. Bar Tony Robbins, the close, was it the close? Just imagine what would have happened with that podcast had we continued it. I don't know, we'd be camping or something <laughs> with marshmallows discussing the property market. I don't know what we'd be doing, but yeah, it'd be good. It'd be good because people like to uh, engage with people that bring a little bit of fun and a little bit of enjoyment to a show. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not about being educational alone. It's about being entertaining and educational, yeah? I, I'm with him. I'm with okay. him. He's the entertaining. <laughs> I'm the educator. He's the entertainer. <laughs> now, that, now that, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> where, where we get anything? Where, today probably will be yeah. the first time we learn something really valuable from you. <laughs> no. <laughs> so... All the time that we've worked together, be careful on the mics. Um, all the time we've worked through the stuff that you've taught us about real estate over the course of the last, I don't know, I suppose 18 months since yes. we've started this. Yeah. You, you're always one of these guys that's trying to think about what the next thing is. Yeah. Um, you're about as tech savvy as me, which means we're both we, we like ultra it. tech savvy. Yeah. Um, but in, in all seriousness, you, every time I meet you, you're like, oh, I'm working on this, I'm working on that. Yeah. This is gonna come out, oh, this is in the works, you're yeah. waiting to see. Yeah. And it, it seems to be a lot of the time is, you get excited about something, you expect it to come sooner than it actually does. Definitely. Um, however, this today is gonna be a different episode because you're about to tell us something that's actually happened that your guys at Allsop and Allsop have introduced yes. that nowhere in the UAE in market, the world. in the world. In the world, there's nowhere in okay, the world. Does this exist? So that's why you're here. We're going to get this podcast out so straight away. You had Tony Robbins last week. You got me, the big, <laughs> big, big downgrade for you, but it's fine. <laughs> Uh, yes, we've come to talk about the the tech that we've launched. I know we've spoken many times about there's lots of talk about prop tech in the market and people doing different analytics and data and everything else. But I think this is, a, well, I know it's a world first. So um, we've launched uh, a couple of new sections of plat uh, on our platform. So we've got also and also the platform uh, and value and find my agent are three different bits of technology. See the uh, scratch. No, yeah. So three bits of technology that have been launched. The most impressive one for me, which just took 18 months of me talking to you and telling you, this is coming, this is coming, is we fully Uberized the whole real estate process. I know we went downstairs and showed, I went through it with you, um, but we've really built a, a platform where if you're a client of Allsop and Allsops, you have the ability to be able to see where your agent is. I mean, one of the biggest things that people, I know there was someone talked recently LinkedIn saying, we don't sell pizzas and uh, we don't wait for taxes, this is property. I think this is such a misconception. We're talking about what we've created. People pay for a delivery service. They pay more online because they want convenience. They want ease of use. And in property worldwide, it doesn't exist. There's nowhere I've met where you know where your agent is, what's going on, instant feedback, instant offers at the click of a finger. And we've created that. The platform we've created is given the ability for a buyer 
to be able to see where the broker is, to be able to give feedback directly to the seller or buyer. It also gives uh, the broker the ability to be able to share with the location. Even if they're new to Dubai, you can send them the route for where that exact address is. So that's Find My Agent, which is the first in the market. We've Hold on a minute. Okay. What problem are you trying to solve here? When, when, when you came out with this tech, yeah. what were you trying to solve? What was the, what was the, the, the question, really? And okay. then how did you fix it? So that's massive. So I... I had this issue myself. I was selling one of my properties in Dubai. Um, and when I was selling the property, we had three viewings that took place. And I was the seller and I owned the company. And I called my agent and said, we've had three viewings. Where's the feedback? And the feedback was from the agent was, oh, I'm really sorry, but we didn't have an offer. And one of the main frustrating things if you're a seller is not having, even if they didn't like it, I want to hear they didn't like it. I want to hear they didn't, they thought it was overpriced. Owners need to hear this. And a lot of times an agent worldwide, not just to buy, shy away from telling a seller. So we've created this software that really enables the big problem that we have. We've solved it, which is communicating. The buyer can communicate directly with the seller now with uh, you know, a few handcuffs. You won't be able to just, hey, could give me a call. But... As soon as a viewing's finished, if you're an owner, you will get a notification. Hi, your viewing's finished with your buyer. This is the feedback. And the feedback will be on your platform, the Allsop and Allsop platform, within the second. The okay, minute so let, let, let's just make this really simple for okay. everyone. I'm, I'm, I'm somebody that wants to sell my house. Yes. You're the, the agency that I've decided to use. Who am I? Which uh, agency? Sorry? Which agency should I be? Allsop and okay. Allsop. Okay. Good, good company. <laughs> so uh, I, I say, right. I want to sell my house. Yes. I don't know what it's worth. I don't know um, uh, uh, anything really about the price. I've got a rough idea. Okay. And I want to sell the property fairly quickly. Okay. Um, what do I have to do? So we've created the software called Value. So V-A-L, U in red it is. So you yeah. know it's you as in you as a person. Um, and this is linked to the broker's diary. So you can go on online and it's linked to the mapping service. So let's say, for instance, my home address. I would type in my home address, the full address. It would zoom in on the map exactly on your villa and say, is this your villa? Yes, perfect, okay. These are the times available. Now, not all times available because it's linked to the valuers diary themselves. They will conveniently get to pick a time whenever suits them, 11 p.m., 11 a.m., whatever it may be, and that goes to, on the system, we book it. That will show on the client's software, their platform. So hold on, talk to me. Don't don't talk about the client. I'm okay. your client. You're the client. Okay. okay. So you book the viewing. Sell. So I'm I go online. Yep. Okay. I book the viewing. Yes. Uh, the, the valuation. The valuation. So, okay. Then there's an, a, a time that's scheduled from that online booking. Yes. I choose a calendar time. Yeah. The valuer from your business then comes to my house and does a valuation. So the valuer will get a notification as well. So this is the yeah. the benefit to the estate agent as well is that you'll start to get valuation just saying hey Lewis you've got a valuation booked in for 11 p.m. on Thursday the 15th whatever yeah. it may okay. be let's take, let's take both of those parts because I want to I want to explore the the agent side and the and the buyer side and the yeah. seller side so as a seller I want to get it valued I can go online it's nice and easily organized they yeah. come and value it now it's valued then the price is given to the property correct okay then I can then put that on the market easy all right now I don't have to talk to anyone yet Everything is online. Okay. You click buttons for times you want to meet. We turn up with comparables within the market. I don't believe you can give an online valuation for what it's worth on the spot because there's too many variables based on yeah, yeah. Uh, upgraded views, yeah. uh, plots. So you have to meet the broker. The main aim of the valuation services was the way the digital world is today. You shouldn't have to pick the phone up to someone. You know what our diary is. You give us your address. You give us your details. We will turn up yeah. and we'll WhatsApp, call and email to confirm okay. everything. So remember, I'm the customer. Okay. You come to me. You value the property. Yes. You go away and now I have a price. Yes. So it's X. X is the price. Yeah. Then you will then market the property for me. Yeah. And then you will arrange viewings yeah. through the same portal. Yes. Okay. So I'll know when viewings are coming to my property. Okay. So and we take a step back for that. Okay. We've now listed your property. We've gone and took pictures, a beautiful house. We've put it online. We've got the price. So now you're online. You will have access to the platform by Allsop and Allsop. This will let you see a dedicated uh, platform effectively with the viewings, yeah. offers, yeah. Uh, feedback that's come in. And this is linked to your WhatsApp, to your email, to SMS. Now, once a viewing is booked, and also up and also up, I say, Spencer, we've got a viewing booked for you. You receive notifications, and this will show within your platform that the viewing's taken, uh, booked. Once the viewing's finished, 
Yeah. One one clever thing we've done is we've built geolocation into it. So someone that doesn't understand geolocations, very simple. It's linked on the location that you're in. So once you hit that location within that parameter, the viewing's happening. Now, when you leave and you leave the area, your app knows, hey, you've left the area. That will take a notification to the buyer to give feedback. Now, where that affects the seller, once the seller has feedback, it automatically goes straight to them. Say, Spencer, your viewing's finished. Here's your feedback. So there's so much clever technology behind the location and the notifications. It, we're really trying to digitalize the whole process without having to speak so, to anyone. So the feedback could be somebody wants to make an offer, somebody thinks it's too expensive, or a million other things, I'm sure. Correct. Yeah? I then get that feedback from my house so I know whether that person is really interested. Mm. Okay, I don't have to wait for you to call me up after you've called the, 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 the buyer and tra- tracked them down to have that conversation, to come back to me, to have the conversation with me. None of, that's, none of that applies. So you, within the click of a finger, you can accept the offer, negotiate the offer, reject the offer, and get your feedback. So if you want to speak to someone, you can. Most people don't want to speak to people these days. So we, we've gave the ability for the whole cycle of the estate, estate agency tool. We're not trying to be off-plan developers or portals. This is nothing more than a estate agency. Anything to do with the estate agency cycle, from viewing to offer, we've created that digital. Okay. And so I'm getting them frequent updates based around the viewings and the offers that are made. And that's all done on a... Uh, a, a no conversation with anyone required basis we want to talk to you we're going to call you anyway I know, yeah, but Spencer did you get the message <laughs> yeah perfect it was overpriced but this is what he said yeah. but the idea is is that at the perfect scenario I said to you downstairs one of our agents was in the gym the other day and he was just on the runner and I just loved the fact that it just ping his phone goes hey you've got an offer coming from a buyer and we, what, we, what we're trying to do is get the estate agents doing their job as normal. Nothing's changing there. But there's so much technology working around them now that when they're not working, tech is working. And that's the same with the seller. The, the seller, I want him to be sitting on the sofa. And this is, this is our vision. Spencer, ping your app goes and your WhatsApp. You've got feedback. Log into your platform and see what your offer is or your feedback. So it's a 24-7 thing now. Internet doesn't shut down at 10 o'clock at night. Is and that platform an app? No, so the app is Allsop and Allsop. So if you think about the app, the app that every agent who works for our company has it, and the best way to describe it is it's a bit like a beacon. So wherever this app is, it will follow our agents, not the clients. We don't follow any clients. We get to see where they are, and that triggers when the view. So it's linked to our systems. So let's say we view book a viewing on the palm. This will know when you hit the palm, and it will let your buyer and seller know, hey, you're on the palm. When the viewing finishes, we will know because the, the locations are in place. Um, so the, the platform that you get, you don't need to download anything as a client. You just go on to allsopandallsop.com and my platform will come up. And that's linked to your social media. You can log in with Facebook, your phone number, but we will send you the password. The minute you lock, create an account with us, on, say for instance, you register on Property Finder, the Bizzle, the minute you're on our CRM, you automatically get a password and account. So we we won't give feedback to anyone digitally unless they go onto the platform. Okay. Everything we do will be via the platform. Okay, so now you've got, I've got my valuation, I've got my offer, I then go to the various places I need to go to make my transfer. If I'm now a buyer, yeah. okay, I've been looking online for something and I found what I'm looking for. Yeah. So then what's the process there? So the process again, you go on to Dubizzle, you register for the Dubizzle via all up and all up. So we're gonna use a portal as an example. We will get that lead and we'll register you on our CRM because it's very yeah. rare. You might call, you might email. So let's say you've emailed. We will register you on our CRM. The minute you register on our CRM, you will get a WhatsApp and an email to say, Spencer, thanks for registering the all up and all up platform. Here's your information that you need to know. Here's your password and username. So you have access immediately from registering with us for your um, viewings, offers, everything else. You start to book viewings as a buyer. You book the viewings and they will show on the platform. So what happens from there is the minute our viewings are going to take place, half an hour before, our agents will confirm the viewings on their app. So we're talk- the only the brokers have the app. Then brokers will confirm, say, yeah, the viewing's taking place. 
ping, you will get a notification, which we did the map before. And you can watch the agent live driving down the palm and you will know exactly when he's getting there. There's no more inshallah. Why do, why do I care about him driving down the palm? Well, why do you care if a pizza or, it, 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 you know, Indian says I'm around the corner and you're waiting at the gate? It happened to me. I ordered off Zomato the other day and I didn't order off delivery for some reason. And I remember waiting at the gate like this. I've not done this in years. Why would you want to wait there if you don't have to? So... What we've created... Oh, yeah, because on delivery, they say the driver's on his way. He'll be correct. Yes, and you'll just, you'll just get a notification. When we are five minutes away, we will send it again. Or when we're outside, Spencer, we are here. Now, that this is not going to help us sell houses. It's definitely not. But it'll make working with Allsop and Allsop so much easier. That, that You don't need to wonder where someone is. Across the world, whether it's a buyer or an agent, someone's always late. We can't kid a buyer anymore. We, if we're around the corner, we're actually around the corner. So I want people to say, oh, okay, go, go and open the door. The broker's outside. That's what I do with Deliveroo. Probably too many times in a, in a, in a week. I'll go, I know, <laughs> I know he's outside because he's showing on the map. That's where we want to go with it. And this is, it's the reason I overpay for them. It's the reason I pay the delivery fee rather than going on the website. It's so easy. And, and so, is it, so in that case, then, is it going to be more expensive to use your services than the competitors? Same. No difference. So cost is purely bad on us. The business model for us is simple. We want to offer our clients a better experience. We're the only estate in the world that does it at the moment that you know where we are. We can give you direct feedback. You will get a notification when you finish the feedback as a buyer to say your viewing's finished. When you give that feedback and it's from WhatsApp, that will push straight through to the seller. Spencer, thanks for your viewing feedback. If you want to make an offer, you make it on the spot. You don't need to speak to anyone. So if you're a buyer or a seller or an agent, we've built this ecosystem where the whole estate agency software is built into us, into what we're doing. And is this, is this software that you own? We own. So we've got the IP rights to it in the UK and UAE, worldwide. Obviously, um, it can be copied to some degree. However... Oh, but you get a call off my lawyer, though, because that looks very similar to what <laughs> we've got. So it can be copied. But the difference is, I've, you know how long I've had. on about it's 18 months. To build this... It's one of the most boring things I've ever done, but also the most interesting because when you're building tech, there has to be what happens when this happens. And then when you're doing the beta testing, which we've been doing two months, I'll give you the perfect example. We booked seven viewings for this client and the client got seven WhatsApps. We're like, we don't want the client to get seven WhatsApps. The amount of money I had to spend to build another page on the, on the platform so they can make multiple viewings is crazy. But I believe in what we're doing. I believe that it's worth the investment. So the client's not feeling any of the costs, but it's hard to do. It can't be copied. It can't be copied for, for a long time. If, like, if you gave it to the biggest companies today, Foxtons or Countrywide, I think it would take them two years to build out, mm -hmm. not based on being able to build it, but having the brain to understand the estate agency intricacies of it. Tell me honestly, who was the brainchild of this, you or your brother or someone else? Me and Carl. Uh, it's, everything we do is joint, everything. So, who came up with the idea? Both of us said, said it at the same time. That, we said yeah. it at the same time. He that, never gets any glory, old Carl, does, does he? he? <laughs> He never Carl, gets Carl, 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 listen, if it weren't for Carl, we would just have a little map with people on. We'd just go, no, your agent might show up soon. Um, it's a joint effort with Chalk and Cheese. You know that Carl is very much the structure, the organisation. I'm the firework that goes off. So let's all do this. And then Carl will make it happen. Uh, make, make it happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited by it. It's, it's being an estate agent or in tech to say we're actually in the prop tech world now. And we actually are. We're not trying to pull data through and say, oh, look, this is what's sold in the market. We have, I've built something that I think will give the, the clients worldwide a massive room for their money. Think about in England at the moment. In England, I said this, you're downstairs. Big prop tech companies, Purple Bricks, um, Yopa, these, they're, these are six or 800 million pound companies. Our technology is far outstripping what they can do already, far outstripping it. When you go and meet our, a vendor, we'll call in England and say, hi, I want to meet three agents, I want to meet Purple Bricks, all up and all sums. The minute we leave for our valuation, just to go and meet you, say, hi, Spencer, have a look, see where your value is, and you can see where your agent is, and they turn up, you get your feedback, you get your notifications about the valuation, it's updated price, that wins the valuation in England on the spot. I would use them, because I love technology, I'll be like, oh my God, I've just seen my agent pull up at the street. So there's so many different avenues with this, whether it's Dubai or the UK, that this could be mobilized very quickly on a very, very big scale. And is that geotagging done through the agent's mobile phone? Yes. 
Okay, so everything's done through his phone. Everything's only done via mobile. So there's nothing to do with the client or the buyer at all. And so if anybody loses their mobile phone, they're in trouble. They have to get a new one. Then, but, there and then. Yeah, but it's like, look, there's so many problems. Like a, a client didn't get a notification the other day. And I said, why is he getting a notification? Didn't have data on his phone. So the minute you don't have data, <laughs> you don't get the, the, the map in. So these are all little things that why, why I say it takes such a long time it's very hard to perfect and it's took such a long time to build it but with what, what type yeah. of a difference is this going to make do you think for your business i think it will dramatically increase our uh, productivity mm -hmm. i think it will definitely keep um our clients loyal to what we're doing yeah the big thing with us at the moment we're registered said this downstairs again five Stop referring to no because we did we were, we were doing good stuff downstairs. Well, we're supposed to be doing an interview that's like we haven't discussed anything we have discussed I... stuff <laughs> don't lie to the public it's supposed to be like uh, we talked about it downstairs, we didn't talk we downstairs. <laughs> but i said i said um, well, by the way downstairs earlier so we were on, downstairs <laughs> And um, <laughs> you put me off my trail of thought now. Good. What was I saying? <laughs> we were downstairs. We were downstairs. <laughs> um, yeah, it was good. <laughs> oh, God. So, so in, in all seriousness, though, you're... What would this do for my business, you were asking? Yes, I was, yeah. Okay. So I think we register 5,000 clients a month between letting, sales, property management. Prospects. Sellers, buyers, tenants, sell, uh, landlords. So not clients, is it? They are clients, because they are. They're not clients until they give you money or there's a transaction. You're right in what you're saying. Clever, any. So 5,000 potential clients. Okay. How's that work for you? Much better. There you go, potential clients. Uh, we now have the ability. What, the hardest thing a lot of companies struggle with is they get the lead in and you call a buyer and they'll go, oh, sorry, I bought or rent it for someone else. It happens a lot because they inquire with us and they're gone. My main goal for what this would do is to, is to make our company sticky, make sure that once they're in, they stay with us because they want to be part of what we're doing. And I, I always refer back to the Deliveroo. The only reason I stay with them is it's so easy to use. People will overpay for convenience. And that's what I believe we're going towards, not overpaying, but the convenience. To are you, are you using Cafu yet? I've used it. I'm a Tesla man now. Oh, of course, yeah, you yeah. got tested it, haven't I bet, you? Yeah. I'm a father now, so I've got a four-door and everything. <laughs> uh, so now I just plug my car in, but I had Cafu. I did not even look once at delivery charge or anything else. I knew... Is my time worth more than sitting at a yeah. garage at 6 p.m. or paying someone three pounds? Yeah. So that's the way of the world now. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's called, called last mile. Is that what okay. it is? This, all this stuff is called last mile. So okay. taking, taking care of the tech from the last mile. So like, like me, I'm not interested in going to a petrol station. No. I don't care. Um, I only go and buy a bar of chocolate when I'm there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the car's being it makes up. us fatter so getting petrol. It's part of my diet plan. So that three quid that I'm spending on Cafu, I'm saving on the three quids worth of chocolate. You're living longer. Oh, okay. Think about it. Cafu <laughs> saved your life, effectively. <laughs> but when I, when I look at that, and then you take Deliveroo, because I use that as well from time to time, once a month, once every yeah, six months. I hope my trainer's not listening. <laughs> um, when, what we're trying to deal with here is, is trying to create a more convenient cycle for, if you're a client, That's a potential it. client, a more convenient cycle and a more a more essentially connected cycle for them as well, where they, yeah. they feel like they're having things done easier, but also they're, they're being communicated with along the way, That's which it. I think is really important. So nobody else has this in this region. No one. Okay. Worldwide. Sorry, 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 worldwide. And you're um, arguably the biggest broker here, yeah. although one or two will argue over yes. certain statistics. Yeah, of, and Of course. You know, uh, let's say I think we are. Okay, well, whether, whether, whether you are or there or thereabouts doesn't really matter in the grain scale. As long as the revenue is the most, it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so we can go down that one. But th what's, what does that mean for the competition? At the moment, not a lot. In the future, I think these companies have to uh, push forward with what they're doing because I don't think whether it's portals or the things they're doing two or three years ago, exist. I've done so many existing five or six years. I've come up with many innovations. Some of them work, some of them don't work. But when they do work, you strike gold with it. Um, and, you know... Well, what have you done that strike gold then before? What innovation? Wh whether it's... Not innovations, but bringing new things to the business. So it's the, most, the most basic thing that everyone will do that we didn't do till three or four years ago, PPC. So I refused to invest in PPC. We were heavily involved in the portals. 
um, and saying this is where we're going to go. Took a massive punt on it. Like a lot of money we were spending on it a month. The ROI on that on its own has been, I mean, amazing. We've opened a mortgage company with that and, and even an inkling of understanding being a mortgage broker myself. We opened a conveyance company. Uh, moving to Dubai is probably the biggest punt we've ever made. So I always think that the punts, they do work, but you have to move with the times. And I think there's a lot of companies out there that are just relying on, I'll get some brokers, I'll recruit them. And, we'll, you know, there's a reason these big companies, whether it's the Purple Bricks that I refer back to, Compass in America that launched seven years ago as $5.2 billion market cap just off being a prop tech company and a very good estate agency. We are a very good estate agency. We are very profitable, but more importantly, we've got incredible technology. So I do think that one day we may go on the PLC, be a publicistic company, we might IPO it. But these are all avenues we can look at. And if I didn't move with ahead with what, we, what we're doing at the moment, I wouldn't be having these conversations. I'd just be a, 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 respectfully a tin pot company with 15, 10 people and just making money for my salary. That's not, we're, we, we want to be a visionary company. So if I'm a real estate uh, agent yeah. and I work for another company, yeah. um, what, what's, the, what's the attraction for me to come and join uh, Allsop and Allsop? Well, what's, we, it gonna, what's this tech gonna do for me as, as an agent? Being able to sit on your sofa and get an offer when you're sitting on your sofa or being able to book a viewing or evaluation. How, how many agents honestly have to call a hundred times a day to get a, a, a seller that wants to sell? How about you just get a notification on your phone and say, ping, hi, how you doing, Spencer? We've got someone that's booked in to see you at 11 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, look, I keep saying 11 p.m. It's late, isn't it, for valuation? It's really late. <laughs> but we'll do it 24-7 business. Um, and I think that's massive. You know, we... we there's agents out there that are working really hard and they're good at what they're doing, but you can be a little bit smarter at what you're doing. And that's what I'm finding at the moment is that agents are using the tech and doing what they're doing already and it's increasing their revenue already. It's hands down. So it depends what you want to be, a 2005 broker or a 2020 broker. But let's say I don't want to be part of, of, of your organization and part of your very kind of British yep. structure that exists in there. Maybe culturally I'm different. Maybe I don't like the whole um, uniform that you guys insist on us wearing and all that kind of stuff. Yep. And I and I just, you know, I'd, I'd like to engage, but I'd just like to be maybe just do my own thing, be freelance. I've got my RERA license. At the moment, that's not possible. But with the technology we've got, who's to say that in two years, talking about moving forward, we might be able to mobilize and say, whoever wants to work for us, you can have our brand, you can have our tech, you pay us a certain amount of money, we'll bring you leads. And we have 3,000 brokers in three years. Who, the big question I say is why not? As long as the technology is good enough, you know, you can have a vision that your app that you've got here that's got the CRM, you take a picture of the property and say, because the, the pictures now are amazing on these phones anyway, and say, here's the listing, this is what it is, let's get it live. Our team in the central hub could approve it. And you could instantly mobilize into the biggest estate agent in the whole of the UAE or anywhere. You know, Uber has become the biggest taxi company in the world. Mm -hmm. That hasn't made a profit yet. So. Yeah, well, that, that's a bit of a different, but the owner's <laughs> worth about two billion quid. So <laughs> I'd happily make no profit if I'm worth two billion. <laughs> um, so I don't know. The, the, the big thing is we're growing, we're invested in tech, and we've got it out there at the moment. So. This is great, and it's great news. Yes. So well done on doing it. I know Thank you're you. going on to the radio and stuff over the next few days. So, yeah, we'll be on Virgin, Dubai 92, Dubai Eye. Um, so that's like a 16-week campaign we've got going on. So all pretty much up till New Year. Uh, social media, obviously the podcast. But you're going to announce this on the radio? Everywhere, yeah. It's going to be announced when? Uh, hopefully so I've just signed off at, as we speak as I come in here uh, the spend so they'll create the advert the next five days and we'll be live in about 15 days you'll be live as in the world will know about the it, world right? will know you're, you're the first person to do a video on it, of the world the world tech that we've got okay here. so we're gonna we're gonna launch this video either tonight or tomorrow morning yep okay as a podcast yep but also with some micros taken out of it. Yep. Okay, you okay with that? I'm happy. Okay, well, there you go, guys. We're getting a scoop on this one because we're getting it before everybody else is getting it. And, and in fairness, um, I suppose it leans into a little bit of the power of relationships, doesn't it? Yeah, You definitely. know, it's that, doesn't it? And you yeah. think about it as a, as a business person. Why did you contact me and tell me about it? You know? Do you want to know that? I don't know that. Actually, yeah, why did you? Because we're friends. Okay. Uh, number one, if you watch the videos that we do, I may be biased in saying this, but the relationship we have on video and off video 
it's very watchable, and I think <laughs> it is. It is very watchable. Well, I am. No, you're 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 the handsome. I'm height. You're handsome. And uh, look, you've got a great brand. Your business is fantastic. You've got the reach in Dubai that you've got is incredible. Uh, you interviewed Tony Robbins last week. I could, the list could go on. So. If there's one person to help me springboard our platform, then it'd be you, definitely. And more importantly, we've got a very good relationship. Good. Well, I appreciate you saying that on camera. It's very kind of you. Delete it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do some dubbing and make it a bit different, a bit, make it a bit more. Oh, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> so um, a, couple of, a couple of questions then, moving on from that before. Yes. Uh, how, we, how is business right now, that aside? Second biggest month in the history of Allsop and Allsop last month in... Okay. September. And how many agents do you have now? 207. And you... I know the headcount. When, when, when we started yesterday. talking, you were just opening up your branch network here in the UAE. Yeah. How's that gone? So the Springs G- branch... G- give, me some, give me some... I don't want it just all the glory stuff. Yeah. Give me some of the headaches. Oh, okay. So biggest headache you've got when you open a, a first, second, third, fourth branch, with seven branches deep now is... When I started the company, I was the heartbeat of the business and I'm the man involved in every deal. And one of the biggest problems that you find when, you, when you're setting up new branches is you're not actually there. And you have to trust people. And that's, I trust the people that run it implicitly because they've been there years. But it's, it's having faith that they're going to say what you're going to say when there's a problem or someone's not hitting the, the figures they should be hitting. The people that we've got in there, I, I, you know, one of them is my brother-in-law, uh, one of them is known for seven or eight years, one of them is known for 10 years, and they're all imprinted in what, what we do. But that's been a big problem for me, not getting round to everyone. When you've got that many staff and you've got the UK branches as well, getting round to them and trying to spend time with them to keep that spine in your business, because that's what our, our business is built on. It's relationships, again, it's built on these lads I play football with, I used to go out with, we don't go out anymore, we've got all kids together and it's, it's really trying to keep that relationship together whilst you're growing a business and that's been a massive difficult challenge for us. When we first opened the first two branches, the Palm and the Springs, uh, the biggest issue we had was we took half the staff out of the offices. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, Tower, yeah. that was scary because it like, felt empty, like crazy. Like half the office was gone, and I'd be like, "Wow, the vibe has gone in this office." You go in there now. And my managing director sent me a message yesterday because he sends an end of month review about, and he said the office, is, the vibe in this office is the best I've ever seen it. But if you f- go back a year ago, I'd be like, "Oh my god." What is going on? So you just have to trust in your process. We've got 11 years now of knowing what we're going to do per month, KPIs. That I trust our business. I trust the lead generation. I trust the conversions. I trust what we're doing. My job is a bit different, is to grow the business now. And I can't be on the floor every day, which is the biggest difficulty I've faced. And, and that's where you get your juice from as well, isn't it? Massively. Yeah. I miss it. Uh, you, if if you are not if you're a salesperson or you love people which I do I, both of them stepping away from that is like a chink in your armor mm-hmm. but I have another have another fac, facet is a facet work mm-hmm. what does that mean I'm said, another said it facet now. to you okay facet yeah. to me I don't know what it means but we'll go with it now <laughs> <laughs> I've got a facet <laughs> and um, I'm <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> and this facet that was <laughs> Um, <laughs> what is it, put it in context, I'm okay? Gonna, you have another what? There's another part like of what you do. Level, it, level with another level. Will to that you? work with me or not? Yeah, yeah. You see, I know what I'm talking about, <laughs> and um, I just understand business. And when I'm behind closed doors, I can sort of write something down, map it out, and then I know I can action it. And I don't believe you can do that when you're on the coal face of it, and you're on the floor, and you're with people. So. It's a very different role as you get bigger. There's a lot of small companies out there with 10, 15, 20 staff. Their CEOs will still be the heartbeat. And listen, I'll probably enjoy that job more being the heartbeat, but the profitability, the turnover and everything else, it's a different animal. Um, but yeah. And you, have to, you also have to sometimes realize how far you actually can go yourself. Yeah. Because there might be a place where you can take it to, but you might not be able to take it any further. Yeah, and and, and, and ego or arrogance might potentially get in the way of and, and stop the company even continue to involve. I mean, let's, let's take something like an IPO. Yeah, come on, reporting to a board of shareholders. This is the main you. exactly. Honestly, <laughs> so my dad's IPO the company from yeah. a thousand pounds to yeah. a ninety million market cap. Um, it was he was the biggest dealer with Lucky Gold Star, which is Algae. 
and Eric Sun, and he, honestly, this amazing thing. And he said to me, Sun, I'm not sure that's for you. And I was like, <laughs> you're right. Me writing a report to someone saying, you can't spend uh, half a million dirhams on radio and social media. I'm like, what are you talking about? I can spend what I want. So <laughs> half a million, you yeah. can't spend 500 exactly. dirhams. Yeah. Well, I can't have my delivery on, on the expenses. <laughs> um, so I know that, but again, it's, you have to evolve with it. If, if that means that in five years, that if that, I, I could turn my business valuation 15, 20, 30 times our, 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 our turnover, why wouldn't I do it? But it just means, again, the business would evolve. But that would open up something. I could buy out real estate companies. I could buy out property management companies. So I don't know. It's exciting, but it's different. It's such a different role we're involved in. But it is exciting. It is exciting, yeah. It's just different. It's, it's, <clears throat> it's a different type of excitement. My excitement now is watching a baby grow. You know, I've actually had more satisfaction just talking about the tech, going to agents and saying, what did the client say? I don't care about the deal. Tell me what they said. And they're like, oh, it's amazing. This woman was an app developer. She's never seen anything like it. I've just had an offer coming. Of it. And I see that. I'm like, okay, it's working. It's working. Tell me how being a dad nine months ago has changed you as a professional. Softer. I think... What, you mean you have more empathy? Yeah, like dramatically more. I think before being a dad, I was very cutthroat and that was it. And now if I see someone failing at work or they're not doing well, or even if someone's being bullied or anything of any sort. Give them a dummy? Of course you give them <laughs> some milk as well. But I, now I'm like, that could be my daughter. And I don't want to see that happening. So yeah. it's really just, you know, I, I don't, even stupid things, if I saw someone on the train tomorrow and they were getting bullied, I, I'd step in now. And I don't think I would have five years ago. I'd be like, what are you doing? Like that's someone's daughter. So if someone disrespects someone. I think I've just got this whole different love now, not only for, for my daughter and my wife, but I don't know. It's just, it's nice. It's, it's in a, watching. You think it's made you a better person? Definitely. Being a father is the best thing that's ever happened to me, ever. And that's a big statement. And Carl has obviously had kids already. And did Carl... He did, softened dramatically. Did you, did you obviously watch that? You viewed I watched. Changed. So what had happened, the tables actually turned. So Carl was... We used to call Carl the human hater. You'd send Carl... You said, so that my dad would say, you'd send Carl to war and me to peace talks. That's how it was. And then when Carl had kids, I'm, I'm stone cold sometimes. And Carl was like, Lewis, you're stone cold. And I'm soft. And I see Carl really soften up as he had kids. And now and I've softened. It's a big problem. We've got two softies running the business now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it dramatically changes everything about the way you look at things, including business. Because now it's even okay. I can get home for six, and I'll be home for the milk and the bath, and I can read in the story. And before it's like stay till nine, be the last one. But you, your mindset just changes. I think I can do what I was doing at home now, and I can be with my daughter and my wife. So yeah, it definitely changes yeah, for the good. And you have someone to do it for as well. Yeah. Uh, outside of yourself yeah. yeah we're very fortunate i mean look we're, we're as like yourself we've i've built this life for my family that you know when we do whether we go to london or dubai wherever it is it's just i look at wow like I, I think i appreciate it more now because i'm like that's yours like i saw my my, my daughter crawling up the stairs in london and i'm like that's your stairs in 30 years, this is, this is yours. I'll be dead in 30. I'm gone. I'll take me to 66. I'm out. Check me out. Um, <laughs> you 36? 33. Are you, did I say 36? Yeah, That's you can't even count. In 30 years, you'll be 60. Yeah, it's a 36. It's 33. Yeah, 33, yeah. Bloody hell. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it brings a different perspective to you, definitely. And you do do it for your children. Indeed. Which you said downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't, <laughs> he didn't say downstairs. I don't remember seeing you downstairs. <laughs> you have a downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, look, thank you for coming to share that information. Okay, I really appreciate well, you, you, you sharing it. Yeah, it's really exciting news. Um, and so everybody that wants to get hold of Allsop and Allsop just need to go to the website, which is... www.allsopandallsop.com You even say www. Does that anyone that? say that anywhere? I'm 33. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> HTTP at www. <laughs> <laughs> So it's it's Allsop, which is spelled A double L S O S O double P. Yeah, Allsop A N D A double L S O double P dot com. Anyone right. can check our technology out. If they want to register as an applicant. I don't care if their agents want to have a look at it and pretend to be a buyer and check it out. If anyone, if anyone from either the press or anyone from uh, another organisation uh, wants to check more information out uh, on Instagram, will there be updates there so people can follow and understand? So there will be full PR going out in the next ten days or so, and that includes videos, uh, updates, how tos, 
every uh, so we've got adverts that have been created that are going out in the next 10 days again where you will see everything the adverts are tv adverts that have been created mm -hmm. so there is a full pr um campaign going out and that honestly is because i believe it's a worldwide uh, creation i do believe that we're gonna have businesses in the uk calling us asking for feedback on it and the negotiator magazine and the big boys i, I wouldn't be surprised honestly if ima nikhil someone comes and knocks on my door and asks me how they can use it with their clients mm. good let's hope they can that's good for you definitely and you'll, you'll license it out don't know yet we'll see there's many options with it many mm -hmm. options which is a great place to be mm, indeed all right well thanks for coming thank on the show, you mate. very Appreciate much mate. It. so there we have it that podcast with my man lewis hopefully you uh, understand a little bit about the chemistry between us the fact that we get on so well makes it easy probably for you guys to listen to more importantly though what kind of technology is this? How amazing is this? We've all been in a place where we've we've been renting or we've rented a property out. We've bought or we've sold. We've all experienced that over the course of our professional careers, particularly for you guys that live here in the UAE. And to find a piece of tech and see what it can do to make our lives easier, okay? Make the, just, just make the whole dealing with real estate agents process simpler and less painful, to me, really is fantastic. There were some great takeaways. I can't wait to see see how this technology really does take off not only here in the region throughout the world so lewis cheers man thank you so much thank for coming you. on the show thank you okay how cool was it to have him okay always look out for him go give him a follow um you'll see him in the gym at five o'clock most mornings um no you won't it's, Seven. Uh, it's Seven. occasionally <laughs> But if you'd like to get more co uh, of these co uh, the videos that I make and the podcasts that you see, then just click over there and then you'll be able to see that. But if you love me and you're amazing and you want to subscribe to the podcast, then click there, it will press the bell button, it will come straight to your phone and then you'll be able to see those updates coming to you over and over again. And before I end, Go and please leave me comments on SoundCloud and Spotify. I would really appreciate it. And share the podcast. Let other people get this information. Let them learn. Let them benefit from the stuff that we do. Right, that's it. I'm over. I'll see you soon.